I think I met uh, her during the month of June and talking about Bona she was a teacher employed under the Tamil Nadu government's new meal scheme and the first time I met her she was chasing two boys from my village they had ran into my hut and they asked me not to tell her promising to give me 1 rupee each i still can recollect the memories are so vivid in my mind you know she was wearing a dark green cotton saree with a saffron border she was fair and her face seemed chiseled like a figurine in the temple her hair was long and plaited attractively and decked with jasmine flowers her nose was sharp and she wore a simple single red stone ring and gold earrings with five red stones she was elegant a representation a very true representation of someone from the brahmin community from the agragar but what was she doing amongst us in our quarter of the village i was totally confused i went outside stood there with no intention of keeping the boys request a secret to hide them from their teeth as i stood out and looked at her she approached me and said Hello. I'm your local palwadi teacher. I'm responsible for these children from your area. But you know, she continued without any indication of stopping her com- conversation. I spent more time running after these kids. They won't come to school because we teach and insist that they be clean. we educate them to use the toilet and the importance of hygiene too besides we also give them a bath every day nowadays i feel as if i'm becoming one boogey man <laughs> probably i'll have to call myself a boogey woman instead of a teacher I was amazed at the way she started talking to me. She had no hindrance. She had no hesitation to talk to me. I liked it and the way she was talking lovingly about the children too was very very impressive. I liked it a lot. I said that's good. At once she replied Do you really think so? Well, because the other mothers fight with me because I take their children to school and make them have their bath. Anyway, could you help me catch the boys and the girls of your area today? I have to take them to school. Ah, sure, nga, I said. I ran into the house and dragged both the boys. They were wriggling and kicking mindlessly in an effort to escape. Vidu ka, vidu. Or ruba kuduka mate. They meant leave us or let us go. We are not going to give you the one rupee if you don't help us escape from the teacher. Anyway, I got them together and helped her take the children as they were yelling and yelling i also saw how these boys were first made to have a bath wear their uniform before they were packed up to the classroom since i had almost reached the classroom and the school i thought why didn't i have a quick look into the classrooms i noticed few charts on the walls a couple of mats spread on the floor The classroom was filled up very soon and it became noisy it became louder there were around eight classes with large wooden windows 
and uh, as you know state of government schools painting was peeling off from both the windows as well as the walls very spacious with huge windows that facilitated natural light to flood the room and well ventilated i also observed that the staff room was filled with happy teachers they were having so much of fun looking at the way the children were reacting to their bath first and then their new uniforms they also were getting some of the books for the children ready and as time passed one by one each teacher left for their classroom i was waiting and after maybe 10 minutes or so after the teacher entered the classroom i saw that the children started clapping and shouting for joy i was wondering what is this the children seem excited so i looked at buona and i was about to ask her what this excitement was they have just been informed that today during the noon meal scheme they will get an egg each ah i knew what a luxury this is indeed the children are so much lucky to get at least one egg you know we cannot afford that so this is really good and as i was watching all this i began to remember my own time as a student my own days as a student i wrote a letter to my mother uh, from school probably i will tell it to you now oh mother my mother dear lend me an ear to the song that i sing for this is a letter from your dear daughter it's addressed to your beloved pa know that i am fine and hope you are too but i wonder how you are doing without a heart near that cares i realize your dreams hope some day to make them true so keep your heart at peace for your daughter is studying hard oh mother my mother dear lend me your ear to the song that i sing for this is a letter from your daughter dear mother i know i write with a borrowed pen for the pen you bought me is broken now i know why it was worth half a rupee i remember dear mother you sold the pots you cook in to buy it and pay my fee also i wonder how you cook now dear mother oh mother my mother dear lend me an ear to the song that i sing for this is a letter from your daughter dear i heard to my home have bought your service i heard you plod day to dust washing cleaning and mopping my heart beats to hear of your blistered and scruffy hand mother dear apply turmeric with resinous for it will heal oh mother my mother dear lend me an ear to the song that i sing for this is a letter from your dear daughter mother dear there are ruby 
red lines across my palm. Not because of the marudani, but because of the bamboo stick the teacher holds. Each lash I bear in silence. For I know we have no money, no money for books and notes. O oh mother, my mother dear, lend me an ear to the song that I sing. For this is a letter from your daughter dear. Dear mother, here I eat each morsel and waste not. I remember baby brother with each handful of rice that fills my mouth. Though with stones and worms, dump I it not in the gutter like others do. If I had that, I know, I would have fed brother and vanquished his hunger too. O oh mother, my mother dear, O oh mother, my mother dear, lend me an ear to the song that I sing, for this is a letter from your daughter dear. O oh mother dear, eagerly wait I your visit for clothes. Those I have are tattered and worn. Ridiculed am I for my poor clothes. So bring those clothes, those handed to you at the house you were. O oh, mother, my mother dear, lend me an ear to the song that I sing. For this is a letter from your daughter dear. Let me end my letter, for I have no more to pen. With love, your daughter, Kodishwari. Yes, that is how I ended that. Kodishwari means a person with lots of money and riches. I am, don't you know, a Kodishwari at heart. I had thought that I was thinking aloud in my mind. I never realized that I had uttered each word of what I had written years ago to my mother loudly. And there, Verna was looking at me with amazement. She was astounded and she clapped her hands as she heard every word that came. She came close to me and gave me a tight hug, appreciating me with a teary eye. Yes, that day, I got my first best friend, Buona. And she started without taking a second time to talk. Kalyani, you know, Kamarad and MGR were two great visionaries. It's because of them, yes, it's because of them that so much has come about. What I experienced has changed. Don't know when these children will know the value of the education they are receiving. I'm sure they will. I was fortunate I had my chance. I looked at her and I know, I knew that when I was in my 10th standard, though I had passed, I had let the opportunity I had slip away from me. I did not have that 500 rupees to register in the employment exchange. I don't even know till today 
if i really had to pay that 500 rupees but in my heart i wish i truly wish that my people my community people know what can be achieved yes what a poor untouchable woman can achieve if the opportunity comes away i looked at buona and said you're lucky you're from the agraharam but we we are untouchable buona wasn't happy when i mentioned untouchable she said untouchable who said so i of course knew at that moment i had a very beautiful very good friend kanaga kanaga was also employed in the government she worked in the village to keep the village clean you know scavengers they called her community anyway i made a very good friend of her and uh, as we walked together she kept talking to me about her lifestyle and her problems and uh, so many other things i think it was in 1986 in june i think when uh, i uh, met kanaha she was actually in a state of shock and uh, she was in some kind of a trouble i guess because i remember running to her aid and uh, asking her akka ho haven't you gone to the doctor yet you have a high fever i told her and she told me no the village headman's wife demanded that i be at her place and work at once i told her doesn't she know that you're not well didn't you tell her immediately kanaga she started crying out loudly and she said she knows she knows but she won't heed she claims i'm just a pretender ungrateful even if i have a temperature she doesn't touch me how will she know i'm having a temperature she thinks i'm a pretender <sighs> i had to listen to her moaning in silence and then after some time asked her gently why do you have to work for her don't you get enough money from the government immediately she cleared her tears from her eyes and said yamari that's the problem i took 600 rupees to pay my son's exam fees and coaching fees he studies very well and he um uh, what to say um, what is it ah college he wanted to go to a college and study about farming in adudurai you know there is a rice center uh, research center for rice so uh, i had to take money and now i am this well i understood and i was also happy to know that someone from the scavenger community had got an opportunity to go to the agricultural research center wonderful wonderful it was very beautiful news for me then i asked her so you work for the headman's wife and she replied 
Ah, the headman's wife, yes, don't ask. I have to work for her every morning and every evening. Be there at any appointed time she needs. It's almost been four years, Amma, since I took that money. Morning, I go to the house before the cock crows. Clean the cattle shed, their toilets, everything. I asked her out of curiosity. Do you get any extra money then? They should have paid you, isn't it? And uh, probably your debt should have been over by now. Kanaga replied, Yallata, problem madada. Meaning, no my dear, that's the problem. She doesn't pay. This made my heart feel heavy. And I started pondering as usual, you know. I think a lot. And um, I returned home. Went back, silently picked up my column notebook. Began to draw the dots and also the column. Thinking, how can I help her? What should be done? These were the things that kept going on and on and on in my heart. Suddenly, I stopped. A thought came to my mind. And I asked myself, I should ask her, how much? People get paid for this kind of a work she does typically. I didn't waste time. I went and met her the very next day. And Kanaha said, uh, Usually around 15 rupees or so. It uh, has been four years since I started working. I immediately bent down and wrote, in a notebook which I had carried that day. 365 days. So if I had to multiply 4 years, that would come to around 1460 days of work. Okay? And then I again started doing my calculation. So if I had to multiply that with the 15 rupees people usually take for that kind of work, work, how much should this Kanaha have received by now? Oh my God! And I told her, Yakka, you have paid 21,900 rupees for 600 you took as a loan and yenna ata solra kanaha asked meaning what do you mean of course uneducated as most of the people are around us we didn't know. So immediately I explained the calculation to Kanaha and she was flabbergasted. I also spoke with Buona that day. She silently listened to the entire situation of Kanaha with a lot of empathy and she said, Well Kalyani, I think Something has to be done. Kanaga was at a disadvantage because she could not understand the calculations or reasons which I was discussing with Buona. Then a few days later, A few days later, I was actually putting clothes to dry 
on a coil rope that had been tied across two coconut trees. I heard Buona calling from somewhere behind and she was crying out my name and she said Kalyani Kalyani. I turned and I looked at her because I knew she had to be at work and as usual in her own style she started Kalyani I am not very sure but in Dharmapuri the T and C D W have launched something called the Mahali Tritam 3 years ago and it was successful The plan of this Mahali Tritam is to borrow money and work as a group so you can also borrow and probably work something out for kanaha i think if we take the same mahali tritam idea i ignorant as i am i plainly stated uh, i really don't understand so buona started explaining it to me for the idea to work you should get a few women to form a group and each one has to contribute a meager amount of money once the money is collected it can be lent to anybody who really requires it and they can repay the small group of women in installments the money can be used to help one and other and it's also beneficial wow i didn't know that i told buona in a very simple manner buona said okay now let me tell you another thing there is actually one anuraj sir who works at the missionary school he informed me about this now what you will have to do is go inform the other women who might be interested or even better gather women who have taken money from the headman's wife see how they react when you give them the solution after that we will take anuraj sir's help to take the form and create the group what do you think she asked i sat there silently taking in the information she had given me idea appears good but Buona laughed and she said now go find out what has to be done so there i went with the good will of uh, buona and i thought there is going to be some kind of a change the remaining part of the story will be tomorrow wait for me